What's up YouTube? Cliff2475 here, and as you can see, I have two AK-47s with me. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the JG Tactical AK that I got from a friend, DZ Monster 23 uh, here on YouTube, and a CYMA .028S folding stock AK-47, which I have reviewed before on my channel, and I will be combining them to make one functioning airsoft gun. First thing you kind of really want to know, this JG Tactical AK is broke, and so is the CYMA AK. This AK has a problem with the selector switch, doesn't stay on properly, but is completely together. The motor grip is extremely loose, and the motor is stuck inside the grip currently. Also, the screws, as you can see right here, that normally sit in here, one of them stripped. And as a quick fix to this, the person who I got this from, DZ Monster 23, decided he was going to drill it out. As you can see, the receiver is completely broke now, and it doesn't look really good at all. So we will be changing the receivers as well. Pulling this apart, excuse me a second. You will also notice that the air nozzle on the front of this gun is shattered and no longer feeds properly and it is missing a buttstock back here moving on to this gun this one is my AK-47 and it has had problems ever since I bought it uh, broken for twenty dollars from a friend uh, the top no longer stays on properly completely comes off the plastic is shattered the selector switch is sticky, as you can see in safe mode, it still stays in safe, but when you put it into automatic, it continually stays in safe, and then in semi, it finally works. It is making that grinding noise because the piston is not in there and the gears are just spinning, because the piston shattered, that tooth, the pickup tooth, broke off, so it no longer has any kind of internals, but it needs a new piston. So, pretty much what we're going to be attempting here is we will be taking the front receiver of the JG Tactical AK and we will be attempting to attach it to the back receiver of the CYMA AK and we will be attempting to take parts out of this gearbox and put them into this gearbox and hopefully we will have a well-made functioning AK-47 by the end of the day. All right, I'm going to get to work, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so I've got this broken down into pretty much the basic component parts. Uh, this is the back receiver to the CYMA AK with the folding stock that we will be using and the uh, front receiver to the JG Tactical AK. Uh, it appears as though they are compatible with each other. As you can see, they fit together, so that is a good sign. Um, I am going to take the two gearboxes over and start working on them. Something I just want to point out to you guys, this is the JG Tactical AK. I showed that the trigger's a little messed up, as is some of the wiring is a little crimped, but nothing major. This is my AK, the CYMA AK, and the wiring is all messed up in here. I'm sorry the camera's kind of blurring on it. And uh, the play in my selector switch I think is caused right here because I think the half moon screw which hooks this all together might be broke. because The selector switch is not moving but I can still do that with the gear teeth. Alright, I'm going to take the gearboxes into a more well lit area and uh, start taking them apart.
Alright, so before I crack my gearbox open, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, the quality is going to be terrible. Alright, but as you can see, my, well maybe not, it's kind of blurry. But, I was right about the half moon not being set properly. As you can see, that's twisting, but the teeth are not engaging on the other side. Right there. See. So, the half moon is a little bent. Just wanted to show that to you guys. Alright. Here are our two gearboxes. This is from the JG gearbox. This is from my gear... well, this is my gearbox. Um, mine is filthy. It's disgusting. Lots of really disgusting grease in there. It's kind of old and nasty. Uh, I might re-grease this, but the video is getting kind of long as it is. Uh, this one's pretty clean. I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. Probably use this one. Um, but, yeah. Uh, one thing. I think this is... Is it? Yes, it is. Alright, most of you guys may or may not know this, but the uh, JG has a special kind of spring and piston setup. So you can see, the spring and the piston are attached to each other. Uh, this helps somehow. I'm not so sure how, but it does. And uh, I will be using this piston and this spring, and uh, his spring guide, of course. Alright, sorry about that. I think the camera was off-center for it. Alright, let me just kind of recap what I did here. So, I looked over the parts, and my gears are a little worn down. They're kind of filthy. If you look, there's like crap growing on them. Pieces of uh, piston and stuff right in there, that yellowish. And uh, I don't feel like cleaning it or re-greasing it right now. I might do that in a week or two, depending on how this works. Uh, so I decided to take his bevel and uh, spur gear, put that in there. Uh, his screws are also in better shape. I am stuck with the motor screws because uh, my friend's motor screws were not given to me. So I took uh, his screws as well. And of course you guys saw me take his piston spring and uh, spring guide. Um, unfortunately that is uh, a necessary part that I don't have. Uh, I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to take his uh, selector parts put those on. Um, I think I'm going to keep my motor and uh, I don't even know what this is called but I'll put this on later. And uh, then I might reassemble his gearbox. I don't know. So keep watching and uh, then we'll put everything back into there. Alright, and as you can see, I now have my fully reassembled gearbox. Okay, I'm going to go take this back over to the other table. Um, I need to start a new video because it is now borderline a half hour, and that's how long my camera can run for. I will uh, speed it up, of course, later, so you guys aren't bored out of your minds. Um, real quick, uh, to avoid questions later, these special little Torx screws you see here, not a lot of people can find a screwdriver that fits them. Um, this is, once again, DZ Monster 23. This is his screwdriver. He also let me borrow. It is a Torx T3 
times 60 made in Germany. Uh, very fancy screwdriver. Uh, he bought it for like $5, I think. So not too expensive. Uh, check Amazon. I think that's where he got it from. Alright, let me go reassemble the gun. Alright, my camera says I have two and a half minutes of life left, so I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. Everything is hooked together. I am glad it fit. Um, selector switch feels nice. The front end is on nice and tight. The charging handle actually works. Um, so I'm going to put a battery right there in and the battery cover, and uh, I'm going to see if it actually works for me. Alright, one minute left. Battery cover was being a bit of a pain, um, but all AK battery covers are. So, let me just slip this into automatic. We are going to fire and we'll see if it works. Alright, I think my battery's dead. I hope my battery's dead. Uh, this is Cliff2475, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm getting a new battery. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. I uh, got the battery I used for my Echo 1 M4 rifle. Um, I don't know if it's charged, but hopefully there's just enough left where we could test this out. I, uh, I also brought the original magazine down for my gun, and uh, as expected, It fits in there rather fine. So, here we go. Alright, sweet. It works. Well, guys, this has uh, been my first custom build airsoft video. I'm glad it worked out. And uh, now I can say the famous words. I'm Cliff2475. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, you know, whole nine yards. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, as always...